Hey Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, thank you for tuning into your daily message. We're going to be looking at what this person wants to communicate to you. So um, I feel like I needed to do this message because I feel like um, there is some communication that's coming in. There's some sort of energy someone wants to reach out someone wants to touch base with you someone obviously has some things here to say so um i feel like i want to bring out these messages for you and see sort of see what's up what's going on what are they sort of wanting to say to you and i feel like these words could come up for you today or um it's particularly important maybe because they may be coming up very very soon so um, either way, I feel like this reading is going to be focused on the communication and the energy of what a particular person wants to say to you. So um, let's see what's coming up here on the cards uh, for air signs. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also to drop a like on this video. Um, you can sign up for membership as well and get access to extended readings. Um, Otherwise, let's see. Let's see what's coming up. What does someone want to say? What does this person want to say to air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. I hid who I really am from you. I know I messed up everything. I want to be more than friends. Okay, there is definitely someone who wants to communicate their regret here towards you air signs um what comes to mind is like a heavy heart so i feel like there's someone that might not be doing too well um i feel like there's someone who can be in a bit of a a bit of a funk um you know their energy isn't as high i'm getting that this person might be feeling quite flat and it's possibly someone, someone that I feel like you almost had a relationship with this person, um, or someone that you came very close with developing a connection, but it's almost like you guys never really made it, you, you were never really fully exclusive with this person, um, because they feared to completely open up and be themselves around you. Um, I'm just going to go with in what's coming to me intuitively, the messages that are coming to me intuitively. And I reckon that this person, the vibe I'm getting from them is like, they kind of lost, they, they sort of had a chance with you, but maybe they believed you were too good to be true for them. So they never really, they couldn't feel like they could open up and be themselves completely why why could they not be themselves completely i get that they weren't ready and i'm also getting that they were overwhelmed uh, to be themselves something was up with them i feel they had to hide away from who they really were they didn't want to let you down so early they didn't want you to run away they didn't want you to judge them too quickly so they sort of they were a version of themselves. I don't think they were completely disingenuous, but I feel like they were a version of themselves that wasn't 100% authentic. But like, honestly, when we're first like meeting someone and we're getting to know them, you know, we, we, we're really sweet. You know, we try to put this best foot forward. We don't want to be completely ourselves and you know, we don't want to do all these embarrassing things and all these things that, you know, we want to be attractive and we want them to like us. So we do have that version of themselves, but I feel like this particular person with this particular energy, they probably took it like a bit too far, right? And they took, they probably took it a bit too far. This person was very self-aware and self-conscious, I feel that's that's the kind of energy this person is um i feel like you may hear from them today and that's what they'll have to say um i feel like this is someone who has been mia we've got hiding here so i feel like this is someone that's like gone off the radar you know they've deleted their social media 
they've disappeared you know they haven't updated any of their statuses this is someone that's sort of dropped off the face of the earth so i feel like this is the person that wants to reach out to you wants to communicate but they've been thinking about you not enough to reach out at, until this point i don't think but you've you've definitely crossed their mind you've definitely come up for them um, and I think they're thinking about you more and more as the days go by. I feel like you are in their thoughts more and more. And they regret not opening up to you because they feel like had they done that, you probably would have stayed or you would have given them a chance or something. So... Yeah, I feel like they're starting to think about you more in romantic, in a more romantic sense, like in a more romantic setting. They're, they're thinking about you more and more. Um, and I feel like they're thinking how to sort of get you out of this friendship zone that you've sort of maybe you've friend zoned them. And they, they want to get out of that. They don't want to be there. Air signs. They're not happy there. They're they're attracted to you. There's feelings that still are, are there. And it's like they have this... They're frustrated. But it's more of a like internal frustrated, right? Like they're frustrated at themselves. They may take it out on you though. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and if it's like emotionally charged still. Like if... if they're still like trying to speak to you and communicate to you and it's like still there's still emotion there obviously they still care if they're like super nonchalant if they are very blasé and they just don't care they they wouldn't and they'd show you but the fact that you know you've crossed your mind uh, you've crossed their mind and that's interesting i actually got um as gemini is one of the air signs i actually got a message from someone that um it was actually yesterday that I hadn't heard from in a very long time and um, it was like this close encounter kind of energy this person and yeah I got I got a, a message so I feel like there is communication coming from this this kind of energy for you for all of you um, and I get curiosity, okay, curiosity is coming to mind. So I get that someone's curious as to what you've been up to since you've spoken type of thing. So, you know, they'll ask questions. What have you been up to? What are you doing? And that shows that they're interested. They're curious. They care. They want to know about your personal life. They want to know where you've been at, what you've been doing. Like, that says a lot. You know, that says a lot about a person and, and, and how they're thinking about you and, and how they're feeling about you. So, yeah, you know, they may, they may say, look, I've been a mess or I've been really down or I've had some really low points. Like, it's so weird though. So I'm wondering if this person is like super attached because it's not like you had a full blown relationship air signs. This isn't this kind of energy that I'm picking up. It's more of a person who you had maybe one or two dates with or you were gonna go on a date with or they've always been interested in you and you've never been single at the same time they've been single it's something like that so it's like this almost relationship but in their mind you've always been a fantasy for them like they've always wondered like what would you be like in the bedroom what would you be like as a lover what would you be like waking up next to you so they've always they've always had this but something's always come in between the both of you. Or for whatever reason, you didn't want this person. Maybe you had someone else on your mind. You had another relationship at the time. I feel like this person would slowly be ready to show you more and more of themselves, of their real self. Um, but I get that this person is not very quick to act so it's someone who's quite um it's quite slower with these things and i feel like they're slower to trust and slower to open up so you, you know you're possibly going to have to be really patient with this person air signs but wouldn't be surprised if today's the day you hear from them and they, they definitely have you in their mind so 
I'm going to leave it there though, so thank you everyone for tuning in, it does mean a lot. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, you can reach out to me for a private reading and I can send you booking details. Um, otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very, very soon. So lots of love everyone and um, thank you again.